What's going on guys? It's Keith with 924 Photography and I am here in Arkansas in the Mad Scientist Garage. Today, we're going to do some lighting trends, flow series, LED lights in my 2019 Dodge Charger. We're going to take you step by step, but we won't go into details, but we will tell you everything that we did to do this process to get these lights into this car. Now, this is a lengthy process and you're going to need to take your time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take the front bumper off first, put everything, you know, aside. I'm going to take the wheels off, take the front bumper off. We're going to take the lights off, which is pretty simple. Once that's off, we're going to take the lights and we're going to put them in the oven for what, 275 for like nine minutes. 275 for about nine minutes. We're gonna take off all the metal on the light housing to make sure ain't nothing is gonna, you know, melt or mess up the lights. We're gonna take it off without touching it at all. Then we're going to start the uh, scientist work inside. What's going on guys? This is the Coopster house, the black MacGyver. You know, I'm the guy who does anything to a car. Uh, we in Arkansas, Little Rock area. Um, we'll come to you, you can come to us. But well, right now, we about to deal with your boy Kedron, 924 photography. We, we dealing with the Joker today. We're gonna be putting some LED lights in it. Um, he'll put a link down at the bottom where you can get them from. But uh, we about to do some little Kung Fu magic on it. Have to get the car up, cause it's kind of low. Basically all we gonna do, they sell these at, uh, you know, some hardware stores. We're not gonna shout them out just yet, but. You can find these online. We'll post a link. We'll slide them up under there. Lock it. Basically, what this is going to do is lift the vehicle up so we can get our jack under there. Oh, pretty fancy. CAN bus light, so it's data bus. Um, what that means is it's not just power, it's gonna communicate to the computer also. So we need to try to get this plug out, see if we can get our harness away from anything that's gonna be touching the heat. Um, this bottom bracket, we're gonna try to get this removed before we take and put this into the oven. This is what the bumper actually mounts to. A lot of people take these off and they break them there's screws in here you want to take these screws out and there's double side on the front but you want to be very careful taking this bracket off because this is what keeps the bumper sitting up against the light real flush what we got in the box the lighting trend sent me i'm just going to sit this on my bumper here because it's really light we got the halo rings so when we get ready to put all this stuff back, it's some double-sided tape in here, 3M. We have the actual strips right here for the actual headlights. There. We have a flow extension wire. We got some extension wire. We have the Bluetooth flow series uh, module. Hey, so we have the LEDs for the actual fog lights right here. We, so, we have some more flow extension wires that they sent us. Some more flow extension wires. We actually have, what is this, the control module? The converter? Is that what you call that? Yeah, power supply. Power supply right here. And I believe that is it. And it comes with a boom lighting strand sticker. And we have instructions that I'm gonna get to the mad, mad scientist. There you go. So at the end of the day, what I would recommend to anybody to have in these, take it to a professional. If you are in the Little Rock area and you're watching this video, make sure you hit up the Coopster House Customs. He's been doing this for a very long time. I don't know how much he charges, so you should just get, get him in the DM. So we're gonna continue on with this, uh, this video and I hope y'all enjoy it. And also, if you're still watching this far, please stay tuned or fast forward to the end if you wanna see some cool B-roll with these lighting trend lights. All right, here we go. All right, so on this one, 
You only got one plug, plug the Bluetooth in, so shit, it really self explanatory. Alright. Boom. Alright, so that's your Bluetooth control. Alright. We already got power open here. Oh, so we got open. It says, uh, Magic LED, would you like to use Bluetooth? Yes. Scan uh, Bluetooth devices. Okay, I got it powered up. Here. Got it powered up. Got the old clippers. So the power is here. So you want to make sure that you're testing all your lights first before you split these bitches open. Oh shoot, hold on back up. Before you split these good lightings open, uh, you want to make sure everything is working correctly. All right, so every time I do mine, I always tap it first. Tap it first. Make sure you don't get any big sparks or anything like that. All right. It's a power supply, DC power supply. A DC power supply. All, all right. right, now, so we, now we got power. Let's make sure our fuse is in here. Okay, we good. What size fuse is that? That's a 10 amp fuse. 10 amp? All right. Okay. Got it. All right, so let's go ahead and do your scan. So, scan Bluetooth. So, do I just go back now to the app? Go, go to your app first. All right, go back to the app. Let me just cancel it out. Okay, so, magic LED should be all the way at the bottom. Here it is right here. Boom. Right there. Yep, that's good. There we go. Okay. So it just, it, it loaded up, just kind of refresh it, uh-huh. All right, so we're just gonna plug in one. Oh, we got motion, baby. Okay, it says white, so okay. we should be good. We can, oh, <laughs> let me make sure it's good. Each channel, so we only have to do it one time, right? Yeah, we're gonna check each channel with this one light, and then we're gonna check each light. So just put it back on white. All right. No, nah, no, nah, keep it on scan. Because white oh. is only one leg. Oh, okay, so I just do mo two. All right, go ahead. Okay. Because uh, uh, some, some of these, when they start to have problems, mm -hmm. like you got RGB, red, green, and blue. Yep. So those are the channel outputs. So red and green might work on one leg or one whip, and blue might not. So you might have all of your lights except for blue on one leg. Okay. So you want to double check them off so you don't have to jump to no conclusions thinking something wrong with the side for this one. We just checked each channel on these legs to make sure it did uh, the RGB, red, green, and blue, and white. Yep. And then, so now we're going to open up all of them just to make sure. I'm going to just turn it back to the regular white or blue or green or whichever one. We'll just do, uh, let's just do green. Um, just make sure that all the lights work and then we just unplug them. So we should be good. So you want to scan them still. Oh, okay, scan them, okay. You still want to scan them. So we'll make sure we don't have any dead LEDs. All right. Make sure all of the all right, LEDs working out. But we don't have to do each leg. No, just each, okay, cool. one on each. All right, cool. All right. So when you get this kit, you can do the Bluetooth module or you can get like, I guess they have a handheld remote too that you can actually yeah. get. Yeah, IR. Yeah, IR, but I, I just opt for the Bluetooth because everybody has a phone. So we're gonna do this, and I still got it in mode too. Ooh, them dogs, them just gonna be nice, man. Thank you, lighting trends. Them just gonna be nice. So, Jeff, question for you. So do you think that this is gonna be like, it stands out? I mean, I know a lot of people have them, but a lot of people don't. This stands out for the front end, right? Yeah, the, 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 the better thing about this is you can color match your vehicle. Yeah. So if you decide, hey, I just wanna have a purple night, you can turn these to purple, and then if you just Pull up on somebody and they want to test you. You can turn it red just to let them know you see it. <laughs> what about I race it and stuff? You know, you know. The other thing I like about these, these are on a hard perforated board instead yeah. of a flex board. You know, somebody else said that on YouTube about that board, man. They was like, they got some off of Amazon and they were really cheap. They so when we see these right here, even though like when you put them in place, they're going to stay in their pattern. Like the flimsy ones, if the glue start to fail anywhere in there, it's going to sag. And you will see it because it's in the light that's just got a smooth contour. Yeah. So when you see these behind her and it start to sag, like one of them might be like falling back and it yeah. might kind of be like dim in one spot. So these are a lot better because they're on a hard perforated board. So I got another question for you. So just you not even knowing nothing about lighting trends, what do you think about this kit? This kit I can tell is a higher quality kit. Okay. First thing is because they got um they put they took the time to put all this stuff in there yeah they all of their connections are soldered and not clipped yeah they have heat shrink over their um wiring 
Um, they also have heat shrink over their harness, which is where most companies' uh, kits fail because they'll start to get loose. Mm -hmm. And they also have this um, this braided loom over the wiring. And what that does, it just cuts down on the heat on the wiring and it looks nice under the hood. Okay. Y'all may ask, uh, how much does something like this cost? I'm gonna put a link in the description for Lighting Trends. Uh, I am going to, I'm gonna actually contact Lighting Trends. Oh man, that's dope, dog. Uh, I'm gonna actually contact lighting, uh, contact lighting trends to see if I can get me a discount code. And at the point in this time, at this video, I may not, but just check the description because you may have a code underneath. I'm gonna see if they will give me a code. Um, and if they do, we'll be Gucci. So make sure you check the description to see if it's any codes uh, in there. And if it is, it's gonna be right at the top to say lighting trends and here's my code. So I'll contact them on Monday and see if I can get me a, uh, a discount code for y'all uh, so they'll know that you got it from me. All right, so we're gonna, um, we got a little issue about this plug fitting in there. We don't wanna drill any big holes if we don't have to. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little pick tool. Um, you can buy these at your local stores. We'll put a link down there. We're gonna take this pick tool and we're gonna deep in this out. Um, another thing you wanna notice is there's three wires, a red, a white, and a black. The red wire always goes first, and there's an arrow to indicate where it goes. So we're gonna take this pick tool, we're gonna deep pin these out. And uh, what we'll do is we'll reset our pins before we already put it in. Okay, make sure you always got it how you want it before you finish and stick it down. All right, so that's how we want it. Okay, so what I do, everybody might be different, but we use this to remove the pins. And what we're doing is uh, there's basically some little small clips that go on here. I'm gonna use a flat razor blade to reset them. And you're just gonna slide it under there and just lift them up a little bit. Slide it under each one and just lift it up a little bit. Those three pins now. Now, so I'm gonna make sure that I put it where the arrow is facing the red one. And we're just gonna slide all three of them back in there all at once. Okay, now it's in there. Okay, so we have depinned and repinned our plug, and we already have our. Uh, Halo ring sitting in the spot where we need to. We didn't have to cut any wiring or drill anything to make it fit. Complete headlight lens minus the bracket. We're gonna put it in there for, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in there for five minutes. We're gonna set our timer for three. Okay, so we're gonna check it at three minutes, see if it's starting to get a little soft. We're gonna leave it in there for a full five minutes, all right? Uh, oven is set to 350. worry about burning the house or anything like that because we're not gonna leave it in there that long the bottom part of the plastic is not gonna get as hot only thing we want to do is soften up the glue so we're gonna set our timer for three minutes all right guys so this is a nerve-wracking part for me because I ain't never put no type of uh, car parts in an oven before <laughs> so I am scared I am scared 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 I only use the oven for cooking turkeys and chicken and stuff. Man, it seemed like it's popping, Jeff. Where's Jeff at? <laughs> hey, man, I ain't never, ever, 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 ever put a car part in the oven. But today we're doing it. Whew. All right, so we had three minutes. We about to take it out and check it. See how much movement we have. Uh, we're gonna grab a couple of, uh, Make sure y'all use some uh, hand protection. Do not burn yourselves. I don't think it's ever been anybody to actually show the whole process. Look at this. Okay. All right, so it don't even really feel hot right now, but that doesn't mean anything. These are the tools. Couple of little 
pry tools. This is a little special tool. Uh, another thing, notice how it's starting to look really, really glossy. That means it's starting to heat up. I'm gonna start from the corner. See if that corner does any moving. And it's moving just a little bit, but not as much as we wanted to, so. You wanna take your time. Uh, don't over bake it and uh, just make sure you set your timer, you know, and just keep checking it. Right now, we uh, we set it for five minutes, we checked it at three, it was soft, but um, we put it back in for another five minutes, so that'll be a total of eight minutes. Uh, we gonna check it at two minutes again, and uh, just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure most of them, if they just the same style lights, they'll be about eight minutes seven to eight minutes total time. All right, you wanna go ahead? I'm rolling. See, it's really, really glossy now. This would have been hard with uh, heat gun, right? Oh yeah. Man, I can feel the heat coming off this thing. It's so darn hot. All right, so that's pretty loose already. So we ain't gonna do each one all the way around. We're just gonna get it open just a little bit. And then start working it apart. We boy, that thing hot. So if you got somebody to actually help you hold it while you, you know, raise this up, it'll probably be good. I got you. I got it. Touch the inside. You got it? All right guys, so we have the cover off and we took our time. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take all this off. I guess we're gonna let this cool down just a little bit. Yeah, we'll come back and we'll take out the old glue. We'll take out the old glue. We'll let it cool. Yeah, we got 6%, we should've got my, my battery thing.
put it back in the hand with you. Kind of get our get our wiring cleaned up a little bit. Uh, uh, we we took out the LED daytime running light. Uh, this the plug that'll be left. So we're just gonna tie it off. It plug it unplugs from this. It's got the heat sink built on. We just took the whole unit out. So I'm just gonna tie this up onto our pigtail so it won't flop around in there. Put a little zip tie on it. We'll cut our access point in the hole that covers this up. That way we don't have to drill into the housing of the lights. And uh, we'll silicone it up. So right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get ready to reseal the outer portion of the lights. Um, this is your last chance to wipe off any fingerprints or dirt or trash that you might have left on it. And be careful wiping it because you don't want to scratch up the face. Use something clean. So this is the um, how the headlight resealing kit will come. Just a roll of uh, butyl looking material. Um, so we already removed all the old material. So we're going to take this and just measure out how much we need. How did you uh, remove the, the material? Oh, so removing the old material, what we did was basically just, once we got that heat on there from taking it out of the oven, you wanna try to get it out as quickly as you can while it's hot. If you can't, you know, just get you a heat gun and just heat up the edge of it. Just be careful not to melt the housing or anything like that and just pry it out. Make sure you get as much of it out as you can I mean, you can leave some if you need to, but try to get as much of it out as you can. All right, so we're going to measure this out. Make sure we got us enough to go all the way around. I'm not going to actually put it in there just yet. Let's just make sure we got enough to go all the way around. All right, so they look like that's enough. You really don't want this stuff really thick. Um, you wanna just lightly put it in there. Um, when you putting it in there, 
you don't want any of it to go on the inside. It can hang out of the outside. But you want to get this piece in here. And if you need to stretch it just a little bit to get it to fit, that's fine. Just in a second, we're going to go back outside. We're going to uh, put the fog light ones on. We're going to start wiring up the uh, car. It is late. It is like 1026, and we started on this what time? Probably about five something. Uh, yeah, six and seven or something. Yeah. So I mean, it's not taking as long as you know I thought it would, but you know, if you do the first one, you'll you'll get the hang of it, and it's it's not as hard. He's taking his time and putting the the resealant uh, back in there. I think we're gonna put it in the oven and then we're gonna clamp it down. And while we're outside uh, wiring up all this stuff, we already know where we wanna mount stuff. We are gonna put a switch on it just so, cause the car is low voltage. So I don't want anything that's gonna actually drain it. So if I'm out of the car for a while, I just wanna be able to flip a switch and just turn the whole thing off and I'll put it somewhere in the car, I hide it somewhere and yeah, my personal um, recommendation to you, if you're going to split the housing, go ahead and get the halos as well. Um, so you only have to do it one time because it just adds on to the whole effect of the RGB and the flow series lights. just got the lights um, in the fog lights and we are about to get ready to mount the box we found the place that we're going to mount it we're going to mount it like right here uh, from that point we are going to start running all the wires but Jeff wants to make sure we took uh, see how much wire we have and we're going to tuck the rest into the light so we just don't have a whole lot uh, going everywhere so we're going to stay we're going to keep going uh, from this point, I'm not going to have any audio. It's going to be pretty much B-roll. So just enjoy the B-roll, and then we'll show you uh, what everything looks like when we are done. So I'll see you in a second.
right guys, so we just got done doing the whole lighting fixture and everything and the car is looking dope. If you like this video, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and then I want you to hit that bell so you don't never miss another video from me. Also, I want you to go in the description and you can go follow, follow the Black MacGyver. I'm gonna have his IG link below if you're in Arkansas or if you want him to travel and come do something, you can definitely hit him up. I've been knowing this guy for a very long time and he is dope. 